Quarter to seven now. Good morning. If you're just joining us this Sunday, thousands of people will be gathering at Goddard Park to support the Autism Project's Imagine Walk. Yeah, it's really a fun and exciting event, but it can be overwhelming for people with sensory issues. I had the pleasure of meeting Alex, who has found another way to support the organization that's helped him so much. But there are many different ways to celebrate those you love. Christina Amadeo has learned so much from her son, Alex. When he was diagnosed with autism at four years old, he was nonverbal. Then he started with the Autism Project. By the time he was there for a month, he wasn't crying anymore. He started finding friends and he started really finding himself and he started having wishes, hopes and dreams, which he really didn't before. Alex began to speak and vocalize his interests. Now at 23, he's let his family know his sensory issues make it really difficult for him to attend the Autism Project's Imagine Walk, which attracts thousands of people to Goddard Park each year. Alex and his family would go every year still for years, but he just felt uncomfortable. He always was very emotional getting there, and most of the times he would spend most of his time either hiding in a comfort tent or he would be um, hiding in an RV from a program at, our, at United Way called 211. He wouldn't come out. The walk celebrates what makes each person with autism unique and special. So Alex's mom thought, why not celebrate Alex in a way he loved? In 2020, when the pandemic shut down the in-person walk, the Amadeos walked around their Gatsby Point neighborhood in Warwick. In 2021, a few more friends joined. Really, it became a family and friends affair. Alex saw people were donating. He got excited to write his first check to the Autism Project. 2022, 2023, there was a walk with the Autism Project, but Alex found his voice and told us, I want my walk. <laughs> so we asked to continue having his own walk because he's in charge here. He, it's people that he knows. Now on Saturday, in its fourth year, Alex's walk will include about 80 to 100 people, still much smaller than all the fanfare at Goddard Park the following day. So what is your favorite thing about the miniature walk that you have here on Saturday? My friend PJ comes, family and friends. I encourage people that who has who have people that they're caring for with sensory issues to do their own way of mm -hmm. celebrating them. Wish Alex the best of luck with his fundraising. He already had a check written for all of the money that he's already collected, oh, but I'm sure tomorrow when the walk actually happens, he'll get even more. So they were holding off on giving it to the Autism Project just yet. But yes. Tomorrow's got great weather for, for mm -hmm. a walk. I think even Sunday morning, despite a few showers around, I think it's going to be okay for the actual okay. walk in okay. Goddard Park. So.